start with this developing story. Jamie Costello, I'm Kelly Swoop. President Donald Trump been in office for two weeks, and over the last 14 days, every day really has been a major news day. And tonight's big news is a federal judge appointed by President George Bush has temporarily halted a nationwide travel ban in the White House, calling the judge's decision outrageous. And then minutes later, they kind of backtracked on that message, saying they plan now on fighting the ruling, but not tonight. ABC's Stephanie Ramos with what this all means. President Trump, at the end of his second week in office, is slapping Iran with a fresh set of sanctions. Iran after they tested a ballistic missile. Today, the U.S. sanctioned 25 individuals and entities that provide support to Iran's ballistic missile program. Iran admits they conducted a missile test, but didn't violate either United Nations resolutions or Iran's nuclear deal with world powers. This new action shuns the individuals and companies from doing any business in the U.S. or with Americans. In a statement tonight, Tehran saying it will respond proportionately. And Friday evening, a federal judge in Washington state halts President Trump's executive order on the travel ban across the country. The court concludes that entry of the above described TRO is necessary and the state's motion is hereby granted. Judge Robart's decision, effective immediately, effective now, puts a halt to President Trump's unconstitutional and unlawful executive order. Customs and Border Protection say they will comply with the order. Trump in the Oval Office signing more executive orders, this time on finance regulation. But his White House senior counselor, Kellyanne Conway, is being criticized for this now viral claim. I bet it's brand new information to people that President Obama had a six-month ban on the Iraqi refugee program after two Iraqis came here to this country, mm -hmm. were radicalized, and they were the master masterminds behind the Bowling Green massacre. That massacre or any kind of terror attack has never happened in Bowling Green. The FBI did, however, catch two Iraqi refugees in that town trying to send weapons to Iraq for attacks on U.S. soldiers there. Kellyanne Conway says in a tweet she misspoke. Stephanie Ramos, ABC News, Washington.